Exercise 183, page 462, question number 9. Well, this expression here, to find the entropy change of a gas, which is to do with the change in energy. Uh, and it's if you think about a gas expanding, the energy or entropy change depends on the change in volume and the temporary temperature. As the volume increases, the temperature is normally associated with the change in temperature. It cools down. So, for this particular case, we've got that the entropy change, delta S, and the symbol delta here means change in. So change in entropy, delta S, is given by uh, the integral of CV, where CV is some constant, some coefficient to do with the, the particular gas. And the value for CV depends on the temperature. And it's given by this expression below here multiplied by or divided by t or times dt by dt or over t in other words it's an inverse temperature relationship minus r integral between v1 and v2 of dv over v and then you're given some values r which is the gas constant is 8.314 the volume changes from one liter to three liters the temperature from 100 kelvins to 400 kelvins and the value CV depends on the temperature, you can see here, depends on the temperature. In fact, it's a quadratic relationship because it's got T squared in it. These are numbers written in standard form, 6 times 10 to the minus 3, 0 0.006, and 8 times 10 to the minus 6. So that's all they are, just numbers. So CV equals 45 plus a number times T for temperature, plus 8 times 10 to the minus 6 times T squared. So CV depends on temperature, so we've got to take that into account when we do the integral. So therefore, delta S equals the integral between 100 and 400, T1 and T2, of for CV, which is 45 plus 6 times 10 to the minus 3T plus 8 times 10 to the minus 6T squared, all over T. If we look back up here, we can see it in the, in the original one, all over T, that's inverse. So that gives this with respect to T minus R integral between 1 and 3, so V1 is 1 and V2 is 3, 1 over V dV. Again, we can think of this integral dV over V as being 1 over V times dV or with respect to V. So that's not straightforward, but this integral can be rewritten in this form. So just have a look at it for a second and just see if you can see what I've done there. Okay, so now we've got to do the integral and we've just got to take it steadily one step at a time to get it out. And at any point you could stop the video and try and carry on and see if you can work it out for yourself from there. So this first integral, I'm going to take each part of CV and divide by T in turn. So delta S equals the integral between 100 and 400 of 45 over T with respect to T. Or we can do each one, just do one integral, plus 6 times 10 to the minus 3. t over t, and we can see already that those t's are going to cancel. That's 8 times 10 to the minus 6 t squared over t with respect to t minus r times the integral between 1 and 3 of 1 over v dv. So tidying up this first integral, we get Integral between 100 and 400. Of, um, well, I could take the 45 outside the integral. Or, yeah, think of it as 45 times 1 over t with respect to t. Uh, plus 6 times 10 to the minus 20. 6 times 10 to the minus 3 because the t's cancel. Plus 8 times 10 to the minus... 
six t because one of the t's cancels at the bot at bottom into one of the top not with respect to t minus r times one integral between one and three of one over v dv okay again you could try and carry on from there so delta s equals integral between 400 or 100 and 400 well no no let's do the integral now we can do each part separately so delta s equals putting square brackets in so 1 over t remember is the standard integral is log t so that's 45 log t plus 6 times 10 to the minus 3 t because the t reappears when you integrate plus 8 times 10 to the minus 6 um, add 1 to the power and divide by the new power between 100 and 400 minus r which is 8.314 uh, and then what's the integral of 1 over v log v between 1 and 3 okay let's see if you can carry on from there I'll carry on over the page so we've got this now all we've got to do is put in the limits just being careful that we don't make any mistakes delta s equals so putting in the first limit for the first part of this integral 45 log um, oh, can put that in 400 45 log 400 plus 6 times 10 to the minus 3 times 400 plus well 8 times 10 to the minus 6 over t is 4 times 10 to the minus 6 t squared 400 squared minus repeat with uh, the limit of 100 45 log 100 plus 6 times 10 to the minus 3 times 100 plus 4 times 10 to the minus 6 times 100 squared so that's the first one done and then that's all minus 8.314 into the log of 3 putting the top limit in minus the log of 1 putting the bottom limit in so it starts to get a bit long and you can see you've got to be careful I get to see if you can carry on from there and get out the answer so carrying on okay doing it step by step so what's 45 log 400 plus 6 times 10 to the minus 23 times 400 plus 4 times 10 to the minus 6 times 400 squared so I'll make that 272.656 holding some accurate till the end then doing a similar thing with the other limit putting in 100 in instead uh, 207.873 So that's the first integral minus 
and then we'll work out what log 3 minus log 1 is. 1.099. And then we calculate the final answer and we should get the answer in the textbook. 55.2. Fifty-five point six four six rounded to fifty-five point six five.